I knew it was going to be a difficult game for us. Uh, they're a veteran team. Uh, coach has done a nice job to win back-to-back -back 20, 20, have 20 win seasons. Um, and, and they have an experienced point guard. Obviously, Penn was really, really instrumental in the game, even though nine points only, but he got eight assists, one turnover, made all the right plays, got it to the right guys, got them in their offense. Once they got the lead, they just it was all grind-out basketball, put us in that high ball screen, and he just probed and probed and, and made the right play. And then they got two, two guys come off the bench. We knew Jackson could shoot it. He makes some threes, and then, and then uh, Garrett Sturts, uh, you know, on 15 and 10, just when you talk about, you you look at him, you know, we, we told our guys he's one of the best cutters, move, guys without the ball moving, little, he does all the dirty work, 15 and 10. You know, bench really outscores us. Probably, you know, at halftime, we're 10 assists on 13 baskets and only six turnovers. And the second half, we only get two assists. And, uh, you know, two assists on on – and then eight turnovers and that little, we got a seven point lead second half, um, you know, turned it over three, four times around, gave them some easy baskets. And now it was a game. And then they made all the big plays down the stretch to, to, to solidify it. It give up too many points. I was going into it. The things I was worried about was, uh, and I, I've told you guys sustained defense. Um, you know, this is not excuse. It's a fact. We haven't been able to play five on five for about three weeks just the last few days, um, you know, then I was worried. I'm, I'm worried about assist turnovers. Uh, you know, that's, that's, you know, taking care of the ball, making the extra pass, making the right play. Uh, it's got to be there. And then I, I was worried about free, free throws. And, you know, we and it, 12 for 20, uh, just uh, they go 15 for 18. You know, all those little things just add up and make a difference in the game. But our, our, if we're going to beat people, we can't give up 80 points, and we got to be better defensively. And, um, you know, that hopefully that will come up over time. Right now, we're just, we just appreciate the opportunity to play, appreciate Gene Taylor, Casey Scott, allowing us to put this tournament together. Obviously, it's disappointing to lose. And, and then, but you got, you got Friday night, and you got a tough opponent. Uh, it'll be different. Um, these guys... You know, credit to coach. He uh, mixed defenses. They played, I think, two percent or something zone last year, and they started in a zone. And, and we practiced against zone, so don't. I'm not saying that was, but they kept us off balance, switching defenses, keeping us, uh, you know, out, out of sync a little bit, making us think. And with a young team, not an experienced team, uh, the the thinking probably cost us. Okay, we'll open it up for questions for Coach. Um, everybody will. Whoever wants to start on questions. Uh, Michael Bowens, please. Uh, Michael, you can go ahead. Bruce, what does the defense got to do to, to improve and make progress to the point where you'd like to see it? Well, it's something we've always taken pride in, and, and – you know, part of it just the way practice has been with the limited people. You know, it's it's three on three is one thing you can pick up habits four on four, but five on five is how it's played. Um, you know, we got beat. I thought on l late in shot clocks a lot of time off of penetration, and then they they kept making the right pass and the right read and the big shots. Um, you know, sometimes we were in help position, we overhelped, and other times we weren't in help position and. You know, they, they just probed us. They're an older team. They know, you know, they put the ball in Penn's hand. They're smart. Um, and, and we, you know, the, you know we, we usually pride ourselves also in our play hard chart. And they, all, they had bigger numbers on play hard, bigger numbers on steals, I believe, even block shots. And that should be something you would think we would have the physical presence. Uh, and, and we just didn't show that. We, you got to plug the lane. Too many points in a paint. 42 points in the paint for them. So you got to be in that lane. Got to be, got to be in help side. Uh, you know, I, 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 we went against it. We watched things. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough. You know, and they and they played, they played better, and and they, they they probed their defense till we broke down. And you, it's a learning lesson for our guys. I told them, welcome to college basketball, and this is this is what you're going to deal with. Now, how do you react to it, and how do you get better? 
And did you guys finally just get sped up by their pressure just for three or four possessions there? I think it wasn't as much pressure as changing defenses and, uh, you know, not, you know, not being able guys in sync and knowing what to do and getting to the spots. And uh, I think that was, I think that was probably it. And then we took some tough shots, bad shots, turned it over a couple times. Um, you know, they, again, credit the coach, uh, mixed in a little uh, one, two, two, three quarter press back to zone, a matchup zone, um, you know, some some different things that just even when they went, man, you know, we weren't in sync like we wanted to. And all a lot of stuff we practiced, um, you know, for the last uh, whatever it's been, uh, you know, three, four months. A lot of that stuff we never really got into. So, it, you know, hopefully we can be better on execution also. Thank you. Tell us. Tell us. We can go ahead. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah. Um... Just with a young team, how disappointing or hard is it to move on from an opening loss like this? Well, it's hard, but you you, you got it's a quick turnaround. Come and watch their game tonight a little bit. Get 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 uh, get on to the scouting report. Short practice tomorrow, and, and just play better. Um, you know, this is this is why we're playing. We're happy to play the games. It's, it's uh, you know, it, I knew it was going to be tough. I was hoping it'd be a close game. We find a way and make some plays at the end. But obviously, they were the ones that made the play and got it stretched out, uh, you know. So it, it, all you can do now we're the underdog to Colorado. So you know we'll see how we react to it. And if there was a, a bright spot today, it certainly seemed to be Mike McGurl. How encouraging was that to see him not only play more aggressive but stepping up like that? Oh, we, I've told you guys, you know, Mike has has been a good player for us in practice, and I, I, I thought him and Dejuan both, you know, they're two of our leading scores, but. I'll be a little more patient some possessions. Uh, every possession, Coach Henderson said it to him, and you got to understand every possession counts because, you know, we're up seven, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 bad, three, four bad possessions changes the game. And, you know, I, I'm happy for Mike. He's worked really hard. Dejuan's worked really hard. But they got to be a little more efficient for us as a team. We don't not – we're not to that point. We're too young, too new. To, we don't have much room for error. And and those guys are going to, both on defense and on offense, are going to have to be better. Jackson? Yeah, Coach, in the past, you've mentioned how uh, you really didn't know what to expect from your team here and because you hadn't really seen them together and you said you weren't going to know until you saw them out there. What would you say was the biggest takeaway that you saw from your team one maybe positive and one negative? Well, I, I thought there were some possessions when we moved at halftime, 10 assists on 13 field goals. Um, I thought we did some good things. Obviously, the the, the defense and the sustained defense, I, I told you guys I was worried about um, just because we haven't had to do it and we haven't had the opportunity to do it, um, you know, in practice and, and with a new group understanding that, understanding also, you know, they see Drake. They don't know what Drake is. Some of these new guys, they have no idea. They don't realize, you know, you tell them they've won 20 games. You tell them they've beaten some of these people. And, you know, we we just didn't, uh, you know, it's just a, a learning tool for our guys. There's no doubt about that. It, it, you know, I just hope they take it. You, you, you want to make sure they it hurts them. But at the same time, hey, it's not the end of the year. A lot of things can happen. And we, we just got to get better. And I know it's hard to replicate game speed, especially when you're not able to go five on five like you'd mentioned. Do you feel like fatigue was an issue at all today for your team? Uh, I thought, you know, we probably subbed too many guys to start of the second half. We had that nice run, um, you know, got up seven. You know, what did we outscore them? Nine to two or something to start the second half, 11 to two, something like that. Get up, get up seven. And, and uh, you know, it, it, you know, right there, I thought we had some fatigue, and and I there's no doubt fatigue is part of defense too. You know, it, it that's you know offense you always have a little more energy, defensive end it's it's a little bit harder. And then just one final question: I know with everything going on, it's really hard to prepare for the atmosphere. But how do you feel like your team kind of handled coming out into this arena and they're wasn't anyone here to kind of feed off of their energy like they have in the past well I think 
I, I, you know, it's, it's obviously the noise factor is not a factor. The emotion of playing at home. You're still at home, but you had, we played against a veteran team. That's, you know, these guys have all played. A, you look at them, senior, redshirt, senior, redshirt, junior, junior. You know, they, they've been through it. And, and they shoot, watched the Missouri Valley Tournament last year, Northern Iowa. Um, you know, that was a 25-win team. And they just, they, they found a way to beat them. So it's, uh, you know, they got, they, they have a good group, um, you know. And, and, you know, I think it was more them than the atmosphere that made a difference in the game. Grant? Hey, Coach. Uh, I just have one, and I'm sorry if you already talked about this, but Montavious Murphy, you know, he started only 12 minutes. Was he cramping up, or is there a, a bigger injury? Uh, he just didn't play very well, to be honest. And and it, you look at his numbers, and, um, you know, he, he's he been pretty consistent for us. And, and I, I'm, I was hoping that, you know, between both those guys, they had good moments as freshmen. Um, that they would, you know, give us good minutes and and play off of each other. Monty's probably a little better defensively, knowing the execution. Tone's a little, you know, does a little more explosive things. Tone comes up with seven rebounds, four offensive. That's a real positive stat. Obviously, we it would be nice if one of them could make make a shot or two to help ease the. You guys have asked several times, who's going to score for you? Well, we got Mike and Dej want to score a little bit. We need to get Nigel some more shots. Um, and then we got to be a little better, more inside present. And some of that's moving the ball, getting in sync, executing our stuff. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Anything else for Coach? Anything else for Coach? Uh, Ryan Black. Hey, uh, uh, Bruce, you already mentioned the fact, uh, you know, kind of how successful Drake was uh, in the paint. Uh, how frustrating was it that about five or six of them were just completely uncontested? Yeah, it's disappointing. I even thought it was maybe a three-point game, and they did a little drop down to the big guy, foul the guy, you know, just at least contest him. And we didn't even contest him. Uh, you know, again, we, we got lost sometimes. They made the right reads. That point guard's good, though. You got <laughs> you got to give him credit. And then – and they – I, I, one of the things, first thing I wrote on board, focus on the right things and how do you, the right things to help us to win. And, and you, again, I think their focus, you see their guys coming off the bench. They got a couple guys come off the bench, play, you know, seven, or what, let's see here, 12 minutes, you know, get a couple blocks, you know, get a, a make a layup, you know, things like that. Little things, uh, they all came ready with a great mindset, ready to play and, Got to give them credit. Our focus has to be – we've emphasized defense, but I don't think the guys understood how hard it is and how hard you got to work on the defensive end. And I know things didn't go quite as easily for him in the second half, but, I mean, I mean Nigel had five assists by halftime. How did you feel about he played today? Yeah, I, I mean, he was fine. Obviously, we need him to get the ball more, get the ball in his hands a little more. Um, I thought we had – you know, when somebody asked about the pressure, I don't know if they pressured us. I think they kept us out of rhythm. We just couldn't run our stuff. They switched defenses. They switched a lot of screens. Um, and we just didn't make the right reads and make, you know, make the offense keep going. Uh, we, we, we had some ball stoppers there. And, and we didn't put pressure on their defense, get to the hoop, get those points in the paint that we needed to do. But you know, Nigel's going to be a really good player. I, I, I can promise you that. And he's great attitude, great young man, great family. Uh, he's going to be good. And and he's going to have to continue to get better. Selton had missed 17 days. You know, I know he wants to do better, but it's tough when you don't play basketball for 17 days uh, to come back. And, you know, I, I, I know he'll be better. I thought Davion was fine, gave us some good minutes. Um, you know, Part of it, and I've said this before with you guys, I'm, I, I feel good about Davion on offense. It's the defensive end, and then with their quickness and their when they went small and had guys running into those ball screens, really put put our guys in a put some of our big guys in a bind. So that's where we got to get better. Uh, got a good group. Got to keep working. Got to keep them together. All right, got to get great leadership from Mike and Dave One understanding not just you know it's talking on defense and being ready and the effort we got to give on the defensive end if we're going to make progress.